It's the baddest brand in the land for the best media content. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. You're now locked in to the champ side. I got the one and only, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. How you feeling, champ? Feeling well, feeling real good. How about yourself? I'm feeling good. First of all, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you for extending the invitation to come and talk to you. This has been like four years in the making. I always said when I talk to you, I want to talk to you in person, not on virtual call or amongst a whole bunch of people. I've, I've sat in front of you and spoke to you before, but nothing like this. So I appreciate you for uh, for the invitation. Yeah, man. Blessings, blessings. So we two days away uh, from the fight. Tomorrow is the weigh-in. Where is your mind at now that it's less time, it's less countdown? It's pretty much, we pretty much there now. What's your mindset now? Yeah, yeah, we here. And uh, it feels good to be here. Uh, the the the, uh, the time is uh, is winding down now, and as always, my mind is still very violent. You know, my energy is still very violent. I'm ready to put deep paws on it. You know what I mean? Um, it's been a long time coming. You know, but uh, with all the wait, with all the delays that we've had, it's been bit of, uh, beneficial for us. You know, to uh, to continue to train, to continue to uh, devote myself, to uh, to to dedicate myself, you know, to this to this this sport, and uh, my whole team, you know, it's been a joy to be around so many great men, and uh, we've all had our ups and downs, you know, it's been an emotional roller coaster for all of us. But the the more time that has passed, is uh, is it's been good for us, you know. Uh, they thought they was maybe getting in our heads or. Uh, Whatever he was coming up, whatever his uh, mechanism of, of uh, I consider him lying about a lot of this stuff, you know, whatever they, more time, buying more time, you know, we, we want to say appreciate you for that, you know, because it definitely gave us the edge and uh, we knew exactly what to do with it and we, 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 we uh, didn't take it for granted and uh, we applied pressure to it and uh, come Saturday night people will, will see the, the final results and uh, the masterpiece that we came up with. October night, I cannot wait. You know, we was waiting on July 24th. You've been real, you know, cool, calm, and collective. Like you say, you have that peace that you have. Mm. And you saw Fury the other day, he's yelling, he didn't want to sit down. He's yelling across the stage and you said nervous energy. Mm. Um, can you kind of expound on what you felt from him? Anything different? Cause you, you kind of just been like, you know, focused. The only time we really see you is just training. And then Fury just his his behavior is erratic almost sometimes. Mm. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, you know, like you said, it was just nervous energy. You know, I think he got a, a guilty conscience as well that's that's weighing on him. And uh, he know what he's did. He did. I know what he did. The world know what they did. Like I said, women lie, men lie, but the eye don't lie. And when 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 they see certain images, they see certain clips and videos, and they understand that gloves don't bend 90 degrees don't uh it don't bend in or keep a, a fold in form and when you see those things and they come from a, a credible source or a credible photographer you know doing certain things right there is red flags you know it just you know but i appreciate it man. i thank god for everything that had happened to me how it happened to me you know a lot of people show true colors it's a lot of things that I already felt from people. People don't understand, I, you know, I got a discernment of spirit. I, I got a, you know, I can feel energy all the time. It allows me to go different places, meet certain people, you know, shake certain hands. You know, many times I've been in certain establishments and told my guys, like, we only stayed here for five, 10 minutes and we get up out of here. Mm -hmm. And thank God for that because certain things have happened at certain times, you know, and, you know, with him, he was just nervous, you know, he's, he, you know, I heard his brother did an interview. They asked him was his brother scared and he said he thinks he's a little scared, you know, which he should be because uh, I'm coming with bad intentions and uh, I'm, I'm better than I've ever been. I'm rejuvenated, you know, like we've been saying, retribution is upon us. Yes, sir. I, retribution, rejuvenation, rebirth, reborn. So, yes, indeed. Um, you're so you 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 became accustomed. By the way, I wanted to ask you this, not to interject in front of my own question, but when you win the title back, are you still going to name her Sophia? 
Uh, I think Sophia's gone. She been used. She's like a doorknob. She didn't have a turn. <laughs> Everybody had a little turn of her. Yeah. So, you know, uh, Sophia is no longer going to be there, just like the old Deontay Wilder is no longer here. Right. Uh, so uh, we're going to have to rename her once I re once I gain this title back. Right. So, and so where I was going is that you have 41 knockouts, 42 wins. What is it like now to be, as some would say, a shout out to Mr. Finesse, as he said, uh, instead of to be the hunted, to be the hunter now. Mm -hmm. Now you are the challenger. And uh, what is that like? And how has that lit a fire under you to go and get what you, you know, you feel like is yours? You know, when you're the hunter, it's less pressure, you know. Uh, I think everyone loves to be the underdog because uh, I think everyone loves to be in a position where you don't have nothing to lose but everything to gain. You know, it's less pressure upon you. And those that that's, that have it, and um, the one that being hunted, you know, them the ones that can't sleep at night because they always got to come up with a strategy because they have so many people want to be in their position, you know. And uh, I thank God, like I said, being in his position, you know, I needed it, you know. Um, I needed to get rid of certain people off my team. I need to keep my grass cut low, you know, especially in the sport of boxing where it's such a brutal sport and uh, it's money driven. So you just never know the next man next to you, whether he with you or not, you know. That's why I say I hang around great people and not just good people. Good people tend to let you down. Mm. They tend to uh, do certain things and then the only thing they can say is, I'm sorry. But if you're around great people, great people won't even think about it. Think about doing any harm to you because if they harm you, they will be hurting themselves. Facts, facts. You know what I mean? And that's why I have great men around me that love me and, and want the best for me, that's, that are willing to protect me in any, any situation possible, you know? And um, and I just can't wait, you know? It's, it's, a bit, it's been a long time coming. You know, a lot of things have been said, you know? A lot of things have been, been thrown at me, you know, which I don't even receive it. You know, I'm a guy that outside of boxing, you don't even hear of me. I, I go MIA for a reason. I'm, I'm a homebody. I love to be in peace. You know, I don't care about what's going on in the world and uh, how it's going on. You know, but it seems like it's damn if I do, damn if I don't. With me, if I talk, people got something to say. If I don't talk, they got something to say. But that only allowed me to know the importance that I have in this sport and where I stand. That I know I'm amongst the elite. And uh, once my time is over and gone and passed from this sport, then they will say I was the greatest thing ever came you know, around, because no one's never seen nothing like me, especially with the power. I'm definitely going down in history as the, the hardest hitting heavyweight in boxing history, period. You know, but, uh, but I, we, it's, there need to be more trends setters instead of trends followers, you know. People should start appreciating now and not waiting, you know, and uh, that's only been my thing. Appreciate now, you know, if you don't understand what's going on, you know, my favorite, saying this, what's understood, don't have to be explained. Enjoy what you're seeing. Because you may see, not see this another 10, 20, 30, maybe even 40 more years to come. But when we have great things in front of us, we must appreciate it. We must give gratitude and we must uh, 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 just be joyful of the situation, who it is, no matter what color, you know. And, uh, and it's sad that the world is what it is but it is what it is. And many people support you no matter what, you know, because you are just who you are. Nothing more, nothing less, just who you are. And uh, I wanted to ask you, um, there is some, uh, as far as going into this fight, the first time I, I ran up on you, once I asked you, I said, I said, uh, you come from Alabama like Joe Lewis. Uh, do you feel like, and you told me, you said, you, told, you tell everybody that you fight with the spirit of the ancestors. Mm. Uh, there is a fight. Max Schmeling versus Joe Lewis. And in the rematch, Joe Lewis uh, stops Max Schmeling in impressive fashion in the first round. He changed his game plan. Up. He went straight to attack him. Is there any... Uh, I, and we'll put this out afterwards or what, this part if we need to. But And you don't have to say too much. But is that something that you're going to look to do? You just go straight to Fury and, and just, you know, set those bombs off? Um... I know Fury uh, hasn't trained as hard as I, and he don't want it as, uh, as bad as I do, you know. Um, whatever he come with, we're gonna be prepared and ready for, 
But um, I'm coming with a lot of power. I'm coming with a lot of speed. I'm coming with a lot of angles. You know, I'm gonna be mobile, hostile. I already have a heart of a lion. I am the king, you know, of this division, and uh, I'm coming to prove Saturday night uh, every bit of that of why I say I am the king of this division. You know, uh, I have I'm hitting a lot more harder than than I've ever hit before. Of course, I've packed on more weight, you know, muscular weight, um, just in case he tried to charge me and and and. and uh, use his body against me and all that, you know. I can bench press his body weight, you know, so it won't be nothing, yeah, you know. Sorry, I can move sorry. that easily, you know. And um, I'm just looking for a great night, you know. Uh, we have a strong game plan, plan in hand, and uh, I know it's going to go exactly how we want it. We've been training very hard, and they say uh, practice made perfect, and some may say practice made permanent. And that's one thing that Malik have done with me. He's been able to take what I already know and just allow us to be consistent with it, you know, that it become a muscle memory. Mm -hmm. So when I do things, it's not that I have to think about it. It's because it's a it's a muscle memory. I'm already reacting to what I already know. So I'm looking to make his stomach hurt come Saturday night. Body attack, yes. All day gotcha. long. And uh, I was at the first fight. And uh, I'll never forget that 12th round when you knocked him down. Mm. I swear the whole Staples Center lifted up in that yeah. moment. And uh, But I wanted to ask you, because I do feel like I'm sitting in front of someone who's in the lineage of Jack Johnson and, uh, you know, Muhammad Ali. You know, you are the face of not only American boxing, but you're an ambassador, right, uh, to boxing. Uh, I guess my question is, is do you feel like there is a, is it a gift and a curse? to be that face because like you said any given day if you just look on the internet it's thousands and millions of people discussing you mm. at all times no matter what you do right is that a is that a burden is it a gift and a curse i mean how do you how do you deal with that it can be all of the above it all depends on the individual and how that individual take it in you know um i grew up with tough skin you know um my grandma always told me I was anointed by God. There's going to be a lot of things that I may face in life and go through in life that I may not understand, you know, but stay strong, you know. And uh, and I've um, dealt with a lot of different things in life where I had to be strong. You know, certain things that have been said to me, you know, what I, you know, emotional garbage been thrown my way and never understood, but I had to stay strong, you know, and... As a man now, as a strong man, unapologetic, you know, that's how I live my life. I live my life honestly, you know, especially in the sport of boxing. And, uh, and sometimes, it, 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 sometimes it can be a blessing and a curse, but anything that we do is going to be a blessing and a curse, you know, because we're going to always have people in the world that's going to like what we do. We're going to have people in the world that's, that's not going to like what we do. And um, that's always a blessing and a curse. It's like water and oil, it'll never mix. You just gotta know how to, to tame it and go about your day, go about your life. And sometimes when, you, when you're great at what you do, you're gonna get the hate. But that's only a, a indication that you're in the right place, you're doing the right thing at the right time. You know, and uh, I know I'm doing the right things. I'm carrying, you know, my status, I'm carrying my people. I'm using my platform well for the greater good, you know. And those that don't understand, maybe one day they will come around. And if they don't, they may go up be with them. And we're not trying to carry the one. If you ain't getting it, we ain't going to carry you, you know. And and that that's just how I feel about it, you know. I think I'm uh, meant for this job. I knew it was going to be a tough job, you know, especially being in the sport of boxing where a sport is so driven by money, you know. So when it's driven by money, you get all types of, Right. Of things that come your way, you know, and you know the love of money is the root of all evil. Right, and I appreciate you for for all that. I know, I know. Sometimes you check out the channel, and I'm mm -hmm. using so many of your sound bites. Mm -hmm. What was it like? What was that? Was it like an overnight thing when you said, "You know what I'm talking about," and you said to this day, "Did you see a like a difference immediately in the people that kind of was like behind you?" Because it seemed like you went viral, and then. People that didn't even watch boxing was like, man, we rocking with Deontay yeah. Wilder no matter what. Um, I was just, I, you know, when I when I say things, when I speak, I speak from the heart. 
And I think when you speak from the heart, that's when people really feel you mm -hmm. because they know you ain't trying to do this for no clout. You ain't trying to right. do this for no attention. Right. Uh, none of the, none of that stuff, you know. And when you speak for heart, it tends people tends to feel you. And when you're talking about a black culture, one of the, some of the, one of the, uh, a culture where some of the most worst things have been done to, you know. And you see another black man that's trying to get some type of some type of reaction out of you when you know, you know, he know what mm -hmm. I meant right. by that. But you know, because he have a channel. Uh, a platform to fulfill that maybe want to make money. You know, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? You know? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. You know, and that just comes from the bottom of my heart because it's still times when I, when I see pictures of back in the past of different slavery or, 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 or a man getting hung and his hands is tied behind his back and his feet is tied together and under his feet, he have fire. I'm like, mm. how a human being do that? Yeah, <laughs> right. Or what have we done so wrong to deserve so so much hatred, so much punishment? You know, and there have been many reason reasonings of of people who have tried to explain to me of why we we why we as a culture was chose to be in that position. And some of it I understand and maybe agree with it, but I have no knowledge of it to, you know, sometimes to even uh, I, I put my mind wrap, to wrap around it and still understand it because at the end of the day, we're all human beings. You know, we all should be treated equally and we all should be judged equally, not because of our complexion of our skin, you know, but about the great things that we do. I say the great things that we do in life because everybody can't be great. We have some good people and we have some fair people and some gonna be okay. And a lot of others, there are many that can be that can do better. You know? Mm -hmm. And that's up to them. You know, so, but uh I still cry sometimes. I share tears when I see certain pictures of my people. That's how emotionally tired that I am right. <sighs> to okay. my people, you know. I love all people. You know. I love all people, but when they're dealing with minds. You know, when I look across, I see a picture, I see this man have the same complexion, or he had have the same ethnicity of me. You know, I said, that was my people. Because everybody else support their own. Right. Why is it a bad thing that we support our own? You know, it seems like when we do things for us, it's bad. But if we do things for others, it's accepted just a little bit. Just a little bit. Until, until it's time, until that don't benefit that individual would no more until they're ready to go to their side. Now, what you've done, you humiliated yourself and you made yourself look like a fool because you done picked a side where we really didn't care about you. The point we were laughing with you, now we're laughing mm -hmm. at you. Now you're left alone and now your people are bashing you now. Right. And now you're looking for uh, someone to come and save you or you're looking for someone to show you some type of grief. Why? Then the main thing we want to say is, oh, I'm sorry, or whatever, and think people are supposed to forget that. Just like the comment, race don't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, I think you saw you know what I, mean? to say, well, I, I, I ain't trying to preach in him, yeah. but I'm going to preach in him. You know what I mean? And I just want people to understand and see where I'm coming from, you know, deeper than ever before, because there's a war going on. And if you don't fight, you gonna die. Mm. Yeah, that was that was powerful. I mean, even that whole situation where you know you were you were speaking on how there's drug cheats in the sport and things mm. like that, and you know it seems like people go out their way just to get in your way. Mm. It's like, and I feel you. It's like, why say anything at all? But exactly. but uh, the champ has to get ready for for tomorrow. Big weigh in. What's the meal of choice going into uh, the weigh in? If anything, I saw your post. Where you were saying, you were saying, please pray for me because <laughs> you know all of this food. Oh, man, What's the meal of choice? Me. Um, I think I'm gonna have uh, maybe some type of pasta, um, some type of something that's high in carbs, potatoes, and stuff like that. I know my uh, my pre meal for the fight is gonna be like baked chicken and something like that. Something like 
something that's not gonna stay heavy on my stomach, right. but be able to give me the carbs and stuff I could digest easily. So I'm looking forward to that, man. I'm just, I'm ready to go back to my regular life because I done dedicated myself for these last 20 months and uh, it's been hell. It's been, it's been, it's been joy in it as well. I think it's been, you know, that mixture you know what I mean? Of joy, pain, sunshine, and rain. Breaking back you know, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but uh, I think that's that right there is what gonna gonna give gonna signify everything once victory is obtained. You know what I mean? That's yeah. when them tears come down. So don't supr be surprised to see the champ in the ring crying uh, for tears of joy, tears of being able to sacrifice, tears of dedicating my my body mind and soul to this to uh get some get back if i would say and um and um show the world that who i really am and i train hard you know and and when you when you train hard and you do something and and you dedicate yourself to it you and you obtain what you're looking for those emotions come out of you automatically because you know how hard you know how hard you work right. the people on the outside is only getting a little glimpse mm -hmm. you know when we post clips sometimes those be clips months ago or yeah. something like that we yeah. just now scroll it off right. oh we're gonna right. post this at this time yeah we're gonna post that and you know just to keep, keep certain things going and people keep it on the outside looking in all the fans that truly your fans to come in and and see what's going on you know what i mean and uh we've been doing that but only uh, those that have been around and only myself know how hard it's been and how hard we've worked to get to this position to get to this place and uh now the clock is counting down now mm -hmm. all right and uh we're almost 24 hours away and uh i can just feel it in my body man I'm, my body's shaking yeah. right now just ready to get up in that ring and i'm just ready to go just ready mm -hmm. to do what i gotta do because uh I don't have no doubt in my in myself, especially this time. I, I got a great team, got a great nutritionist, I got a great I got great 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 doctors that's been around me, you know, uh where I talk to every day, and I've seen every week, you know. Um this pandemic has allowed all of us to become very, very close. You know, when I build, I don't just build a team, I call it a family. Mm -hmm. I like to build a family. Right. You know, um, a family where we all protect each other, and that's how it's been. And I think we're all gonna get emotional that night. That night, we're gonna be very emotional because they've been there, they've seen me, they've seen the, the transformation of my body, my mind. You know, um, and the things that I've had to give up, the sacrifice. You know, my, of my children. They know anybody knows me know that Daddy loved his babies because there's no greatest gift on this earth than to be somebody's father. You know, and uh, after this, I get to go home and love on my babies as they love on their dad. And uh, it's going to be great, man, uh, once I attain victory. There's nothing yes, more sir. that I, I visualize and see at the end of the night is my, my hands raised in the air. And they send those sweet words. And the new two-time heavyweight champion Thanks. of the world. Two times. <laughs> yeah, you got, I mean, you got people all around the world i'm sure you know better than anybody that you never even hear from but they are rooting for deontay mm, wilder man. so any uh last messages we you know we rock with you on the baddest brand in the land champ side you know we be man we be cutting up listening to you and and, and uh like i said when we don't when we see something that ain't right mm. we on top of it because mm. we know you you know you are you are dedicated like you said to this sport and as people who cover media like you said something really important yesterday. You said there's no one in here that's gonna ask you the tough questions. Mm. And and Phil and uh, and Fury said I can't remember exactly, but he said there's no yeah there's no one in here who can ask me tough questions. So mm. he confirmed it. Mm. So clearly he don't want you know certain questions. Exactly. Asked. So I mean that's kind of what we do. People think that we got some bias, but I mean the world is biased. That's what I say. What's so that? we just doing you know. Um, we're not doing nothing outside of the normal, but we just asking real questions. So, uh, but anyway, last message to the fans and the people watching this probably the first time or the last time we'll see Wilder before he steps into the ring and is the mm. bronze bomber. Yes, sir. Yeah, to all my fans, uh, I always tell you the same thing. And I tell you the same thing because I really mean it. And I want to 
be able to ins and, and instill it in you that uh, I love you. You know, I get so many messages every day. How many people tell me, King, I love you. I just wanted to say I appreciate you. I just want to tell you the best ever. Or oh, you inspire with, inspired me. You motivated me to be a better person. And if you're one of those people that I'm talking about, I want to tell you I appreciate you for delivering those messages to me. You know, uh, there's time where I can't get back to everyone. There's time that messages are sent to me. And uh, I don't know if it got back to to certain people, but if it haven't, and you're listening and you're tuning in to the baddest brand on the land, Champ Side, baby, I want you to know the Champ said he love you, and uh, he wanna he appreciate you, and I'm wishing nothing but many, many, many blessings upon you and your entire family. You hear me? <laughs> and uh, I just want you to be great out there, as I show and lead by example. I want you to follow because if I'm an inspiration to you, if I'm a motivator to you, if I am the one that 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 you look up on for 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 guidance, then let me be that source for you. You know, uh, I'm a fair man and uh, I treat life that way, and I think we all have special powers in this world, but only you. Or the one that could that could reach deep inside and find what your true potential, your true purpose, your true powers, that it may be your purpose on this earth. And when you find it, lock in on it. Hold it tight. And don't let other sources, other people that may envy you, other different things that that, that that's around you, especially the negativity, be the one that block you from your greatness of or, or reaching your full potential in life. We all have something to do in this world. We all have some type of power in this world that we may use finally. And only then will you know who you truly are. Because in this world, like I said, we have too many trans followers and not enough trans setters. And I know when you're rocking with the bomb squad, you're a man of your own or you're a woman of your own mind. We don't have yes men's on this team. And you are nothing but greatness. Remember that, no matter what people may say, you're nothing but greatness. And when you look in the mirror, I want you to tell yourself that you are greatness. You're not good because we're working to be good to become great. So you're greatness. And I love you so much. Thank you for the surprise and the love that you, 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 you've sent to me. And um, thank you just for thinking of me. Saturday night, I won't disappoint you. Uh, we will obtain victory. And victory shall be mine, says the Lord. Amen. Love you. Peace. And God bless. The Bronze Bomber, Deontay Wilder, October 9th, Las Vegas, T-Mobile Arena. Make sure y'all get that pay-per-view. Support the fight. Support the champ. And uh, 10 title defenses. Time Muhammad Ali now going for a two times heavyweight champion of the world. Alabama in the building. Yeah. Appreciate you, champ. Yes,